Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the queue delivery structured data for free RTOS on ESP32. Okay. So um, from previous video, we have delete delivery one integer data from the send task to the receive task. Now we uh, take a look how we deliver one structured data. Okay, so first we need to define one structure. Type define structure a structure. Okay, so for this structure we have two members. One is ID. Another one is data. Okay. It is an X structure. We save it. Copy this. Put it here. Okay. So this is the structure defined. In the uh, send task, we need to uh, create one variable according to structure type. So we define it like this. Um, X structure. It is a USB a variable. X USB. We initialize it as 1 and 5. It means uh, the USB ID is 1. USB data is fine. Okay. So it is here. So here we need to uh, use the send to front. This is the send to front. We use the send to back function. The difference between these two functions, we have uh, talked about it in previous video. Okay, we save it. And we change the I address as the USB structure address. Okay, like this. So here we also need to remove the I print off. Okay. This I we change it as uh, X USB ID. Uh, we increase the structure ID value. When this ID equal to six, we make it as one. Okay, so this is the send task. We will send one structure variable through the send back function, send to back function. Okay, we save it. And the next, um, let's uh, take a look at the receive task. In the receive task, we also need to define one structure variable to receive the data. So we remove the J, change it to X structure, X USB. We initialize it as zero, zero. Okay. So this is, this value we will use to receive the structure value through the through the queue. Okay. Here uh, we will change the address of the J for use the USB address. X USB address to press it. Okay. So we needed to print out the information to see whether we uh, receive it successfully or not. The ID will be a USB ID. 
okay and the data let's output the data the data is uh, D here we use the USB data to print it out okay okay we save it so that's it it's very simple and uh, we no need to change other code okay so uh, let's go back to review it a little bit here we define the structure it has two member one is ID another one is data uh, here we initialize the X USB variable initiate as one five in the send task here we use the Q send to back function send the structure lamp send the structure value uh, into the queue into the queue so is this is this queue handle okay is this queue handle and then in the receive task in the receive task we use uh, we use the receive function we use the queue receive function receive the structure value through the queue put it here uh, put it put it in the local variable okay and then we print out the ID and the data okay we save it we begin to compile it and uh, to download it in our board to see whether it will output the information or not will output the correct information or not okay okay now um, here we need to go into our folder my code hello world and we can use IDFPE APP we just compile the application code a few moment building the hello world C generating the link file link ELF file generating the bin file okay so we use the app fresh to fresh the code writing finish uh, we open our monitor we open our monitor okay send it down send it down okay it get the uh, it get the structure number we stop the monitor first so here this is send it down one two three four five send five structure value data into the queue and here we get it when the queue is full as we uh, talk it about the as we talk it in previous video so this is ID one two three four five and this is the data okay so it means we successfully get the structure data through the queue okay between the two tasks this is receive task this is the send task okay so it is very simple uh, for us to deliver the structured data through the queue and this is this video I'm Michael see you next time